Hey, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna talk about Baby AGI, which is an AI-powered task management system. Essentially, you set a goal and it creates, prioritizes, and executes on tasks to accomplish that goal almost fully autonomously. And so I actually tweeted at the author of this and I asked, what's the purpose of this? And he gave me a kind of a cheeky response in, the purpose is it's finding its purpose, very similar to humans. And so in this video, I'm gonna talk a little bit about it, then we're gonna go through the install process and then we're gonna play around with it a little bit. Let's get into it. And so let's look at the how it works section. The script works by running an infinite loop that does the following steps. It pulls the first task from the task list. It sends the task to an execution agent, which uses OpenAI's API to complete the task based on the context. It enriches the result and stores it in Pinecone. Pinecone seems to be the storage place of preference for a lot of these projects. Then it creates new tasks and reprioritizes the existing task list based on the overall goal. So let's get into the install. Of course, the first thing we have to do is clone the repository. So at the top of the GitHub page, we're gonna click this green code button and we're gonna copy the link. Then we're gonna switch over to our terminal and we're gonna say git clone and then we'll paste the link. Hit enter. There, it cloned the repository to my desktop. Next, we're going to change directory into it. So cd baby agi enter. And now we're in the baby AGI folder. Next, we're gonna install the Python requirements. So if you don't have Python installed in your computer, go ahead and install that now. It's pretty straightforward. You could do a Google search for how to install Python. So let's grab this piece of code, pip install dash r requirements.txt. We're gonna switch back to our terminal, paste, enter. And there it goes. And most of these, it looks like I already had installed probably from AutoGPT. Next, we're gonna open up Baby AGI in Visual Studio Code or whatever editor is your preference. Next, we're gonna change the name of .env.example to be just .env. Hit enter. We're gonna go in here and we're gonna see what we need. So we need open API key. We need an open API model. So it defaults to ChatGPT 3.5 Turbo, but we can use GPT-4 if we want. And then we're gonna need our Pinecone information. So let's go over to OpenAI. We're on the API keys page. We'll create a new key. I'll copy it, switch back over to the .m file, and I'll paste it in line two. Next, we're gonna to need to know which model. I have access to GPT-4, but if you don't, you can use GPT-3.5. But I'm gonna type GPT-4. Hit save. Next, we're gonna to need to grab our Pinecone information. So head on over to pinecone.io. And if you don't already have an account, just sign up for one. It's completely free and you can have one index, which is really like one project. Uh, on the left side, we're gonna click the API keys tab and we're gonna grab our API key, come back to .n file and paste it on line four where it says Pinecone API key. Next, we're gonna need our Pinecone environment. So it comes with one pre-populated, but that's not the one we have. So you can find the environment on the API keys page. So we're gonna copy it. Mine is US West 4 GCP. Come back here, we'll update that, and we're gonna save. And I'm gonna change these API keys before publishing this video. So next we need to update the rest of our end file. So the table name, we'll just call it test table, that's fine. The objective, we're gonna use an objective of grow my Twitter following. And the first task will be to put together a list of interesting content for Twitter. We'll save. Now it says here, alternatively, you can add the objective directly in the command line, but I always prefer running these Python files from Visual Studio, so that's what we'll be doing. So here it is, babyagi.py, and we're gonna go ahead and click play. Now usually the first time you do this, it takes a little while because Pinecone needs to get initialized with its new database, so keep that in mind. So we're already getting some outputs using GPT-4, potentially expensive, monitor your costs. Objective, grow my Twitter following. Now at this point, it's probably setting up the Pinecone database, which is why it's taking a little while. So switching back to Pinecone while it's going, it does still say initializing, which I think is why it's hanging right now. So we'll wait for that to finish, but it should be finished pretty soon. Okay, here we go. Task list, put together a list of interesting content for Twitter, new task, same thing. And if we go back to Pinecone, it shows ready. So that's why we're going now. So at this point, I think it's probably pinging GPT-4's API endpoint, which is why we're waiting now. And there it is, task result, inspirational quotes, 
engaging questions, memes and GIFs, behind the scenes content, polls. So it came up with an entire list of things that we can use to grow the Twitter following. And this is gonna keep running. It's gonna create new tasks based on the previous task and then continue to run over and over again. Okay, here we go. Now the task list is curate a collection of memes and GIFs, schedule daily inspirational quotes, plan weekly engaging question series, so the next one on the list, it has reprioritized it and now we're gonna curate a collection of memes and GIFs. So this runs continuously and I'm really excited to see these different projects that are essentially fully autonomous AI working on your behalf. I can imagine a world in which I have AI running in the background, doing things that I need to do all day long and saving me a bunch of time. And so that's it. If you found this video interesting, please consider giving a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.